you know, International Space Station for us at NASA, it is that vital major first step for, for exploration beyond low Earth orbit. It's also the portal to international partnerships and a growing global community of nations who are invested in and see the importance of space, not only to themselves as nations, but to us as a species. If you look at the richness of this, this conference and what it has become, it brings together so many non-traditionals. And so if you have an interest, if you have a drive, there's absolutely a, a venue and an opportunity to get engaged. It's the beam is a great opportunity for our, our company to be able to have something uh, fly on station and, and at the same time acclimate NASA to a soft goods system um, and that, uh, to be able to test out expandable systems uh, for habitats. Uh, we at uh, NCATS have established uh, the organs on chips or what we call uh, officially the microphysiological systems. These are essentially bioengineered, uh, microfabricated uh, devices, so they're in vitro tools, uh, that, but it mimics uh, human organ function. Please join me in welcoming the Target Corporation as our newest ISS user. Guys, imagine we had, you know, six million dollars in a, a, a pallet of cash, and that was, you know, six million dollars falling through the sky, and would we try to catch it? <laughs> I say we do. I say we give it a shot. We believe we can get to the point where, in the not too distant future, in fact, probably by, by next year, where the Falcon 9 booster can be reflown within 24 hours. I don't think the public realizes how cool ISS is. Um, you know, that is an awesome thing that's up there.